so now we have another story it's about a mary poppins afternoon tea so apparently it's already so yeah sorry this is the source this is from uh, marie claire .co.uk and apparently this is uh, already happening right now in London. The event is at the Aqua Shard. It includes a mix of sweets and savory treats. Let me put this here so I can walk it. I can look in this direction. Uh, you'll be transported to Mary's Magical World with a menu on a gilt gold mirror or gilt gold mirror. A cake stand with an umbrella at the top and silver booted feet at the base and extra special poppins themed crockery Ooh! from the savory selection you can expect cackle berry farm egg and truffle dingley dell honey roast ham and mustard plums and a dip and crab and cucumber brioche finger sandwiches as well as crumpet served with smoked salmon mm. Salmon and cream cheese. Oh, you know I love the smoked salmon with cream cheese. Oh, it's one of these pleasures of life. One of these little luxuries. Like, mmm, I love it. Okay, homemade scones with jam, clotted cream. Oh, and you can choose. Okay, now that's the part that interests us. You can choose between two bespoke teas. Mary's tea. So that's a blend, a Darjeeling from India, salmon from Sri Lanka, and cumin. Ooh, and rose petals from China. Okay, that's interesting now. I love Darjeeling. Oh. And then bird's tea. A smoky combination of Souchong and Kimon from China, salmon tea from Sri Lanka, and vanilla flavor flavoring and cornflower from Sussex. Ooh, I love this. I love how they um how they made sure you know they brought the little UK touch in all of this. I really love that. And how you know they made the effort to actually you know, like really create bespoke teas around this and around this whole Mary Poppins theme. I think it's really cool. You know what? Your girl is going. I don't know until when this lasts, uh, but I'm sure going to this afternoon tea. So this is apparently, uh, it's a ticket system. So yeah, I need to, you know what? I'm gonna... I'm going to purchase my ticket for this afternoon tea. Well, maybe not now. Let's finish with the actuality. Um, I'm going to purchase this ticket and I'm going to make a video for the channel and let you know how this all went. Because that looks pretty friggulishly cool. Mm, our next story, let me see. Our next actuality. Oh. So this one. Um, you know it's a bit bittersweet um but i thought that was that was interesting and you know so it's there are several articles about this the first one is from uh the lad bible so latbible.com and the other one is from news18.com uh we're gonna take the lad bible so it's titled woman who drank up to 40 cups of tea a day gets buried in giant tea bag box so, a tea-loving woman told her daughter she wanted to be buried inside a coffin designed to look like a massive box of tea food tea bags. Wow, this is... Uh. So apparently, this lady, she, um, she passed away, she sadly passed away, um, you know, from a heart failure, and she was a... Um, a cancer survivor. Obviously, you know, thoughts go to the family and, uh, you know, may she rest in peace. Um, but I really thought, you know, that was a beautiful story. It's, it's really... It just shows a, an amazing sense of humor, really, and a great passion for tea. You know, that's a, the perfect example of a real, real tea lover and, yeah. You know, I'm glad that she was able to give a little, you know, put a little smile on the, the face of her um, of her beloved ones uh, by by her incredible humor until until the end. So yeah, thanks to the family and yeah, that's a beautiful story. That's really very original and unexpected, but what a beautiful story! And may she rest in peace again. Oh, okay. I know there are so many actualities today, but that's because we missed 
we missed like two or three weeks worth of them so that's why but i'm gonna try to speed it up a little bit okay so okay that this these are uh, there are two articles <laughs> one from the sand the sand.co.uk another one from the dailymail.co.uk about our councils so councils I guess for people that live, you know, in France, that would be uh, the equivalent of like a municipality, maybe, you know. So apparently, our beloved councils, they spend, according to the Sen and the Daily Mail, £300,000 on tea and biscuits per year. And they go on to have this list of uh, spendings by local authorities. And it is absolutely, it is just unacceptable, unbelievable. It is how many people are in these councils? How many people work there? And how many cup of teas and how many biscuits do you need to spend that much a year? How is that possible? So is that, is that what we pay taxes for? Because let me tell you one thing, okay? One thing I learned coming here in London two years ago, so obviously, yeah, it's one of the most expensive cities in the world, blah, blah, blah. Uh, finding an apartment or, you know, just, yeah, lodging somewhere is just, <laughs> it will ruin you, okay? It will make your banker and yourself cry, that's for sure okay eating is expensive if you want to have a social life it is expensive everything is expensive okay you want to breathe it's expensive okay but then when i <laughs> i started learning about the council tax because you know you pay your rent you know it's already okay you're like ouch you know your bank account is like ouch that was painful then you pay your bills electricity water no, no heating god knows what <laughs> then you're being harassed by the TV license guys when you don't even have a TV but they tell you you better pay this TV license okay or we will find you and you're like I don't have a TV but they keep harassing you whatever so, okay once you've gone through all this stuff or you think you have the next thing you know that hits you is the council tax and honey <laughs> let me tell you this council tax is really high you know it's so high that whenever i see a little bump on any road in my county it makes me so mad because i'm like oh my god <laughs> with like you know all the pounds i give you yearly you cannot afford to have one single bump on that road and i don't care that i don't know how to drive <laughs> this road better be flat okay but anyway oh that was from the heart <laughs> okay so oh gosh Cash-strapped councils are blowing more than 300,000 pounds a year between them. Okay, so it's not just one council that blows all of that. <laughs> it's all of them. But still, it's a lot. Like, what is this? Top of the list is, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, but I'm not too sure, is Lincoln, Lincolnshire, which has spent 16,000 pounds while raising <laughs> council tax and making 16 million pounds cuts to services so you mean to <laughs> so you mean to tell me that you're going to spend 16,000 pounds on tea and biscuits while cutting by 16 million pounds to services and raising the council's tax so that's what we're paying for and i know of course that's not all councils do you know buying tea and biscuits i'm aware but still like you know especially in these times where people are really you know trying to meet month ends and meet means ends meet and meet month ends i think i got it right the first time yeah anyway well this is not acceptable this is a bit you, you need to rethink something i don't know how do you spend that much on tea and biscuits how many of you are out there oh gosh anyway then and i love how specific i don't know how they got all this information is that something they make public like in their accounts like so this is for tea and biscuits like da -da -da, sixteen thousand. How, how did they get all this information this is very interesting but okay so this i'm reading from the sun um dorset forked out almost fourteen thousand pounds on mcvillie's family circle bickies 
Tifu tea and Kenko coffee and I love how these journalists are so nosy like they even know down to the, the brands <laughs> like, <laughs> but I mean okay for the Dorset Council uh, defense at least you know my videos we stay within the UK thing you know I mean or maybe my videos is part of a bigger group actually I'm wondering if it's not part of a bigger group that's uh, something else but it's the, I think it's a UK brand but it might be part of a bigger umbrella thing. anyway but okay whatever and then oh Hackney Council which is my council in East London spent eight thousand one hundred and forty four pounds on ethical fair trade tea and biscuits now and I'm not just saying this because it's my council eight thousand on tea and biscuits is a lot but you have to think it's a year I mean and it's not as bad as the Lincolnshire one which is literally the double uh, and at least it's fair trade tea you know it's fair trade tea. <laughs> <laughs> and Hackney is pretty cool as well so they might as well you know might treat themselves a little bit you know but yeah I, I, I can't picture how you spend 8,000 on tea because let's make a quick calculation here right do I have a calculator let me bring some so 8,144 divided by 12 divided by 12 equals 679 basically if you round up uh no okay that's a lot no it's just i didn't read are you sure no oh my god no it cannot be that no 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 that's a problem sorry about that okay in case you didn't you didn't know or maybe you don't know me that well math has never been my 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 forte like mathematics and me it's just you know but yeah it's definitely not eight thousand divided by 12 cannot be 600 this let me just See why you cannot trust machines? Yes? Okay, it's showing me the same, the same thing. Oh yes! Oh yes! Yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> okay, I, I don't know if I'm going to edit this part out. No, it's okay, we, we, we need to be real, you know, but... Yeah, I'm stupid because like 600 times 10 equals 6,000. So, yeah. 100 times 12 can be 8,000. That's actually We can't trust machines. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, anybody talked about IQ, IQ around here? Yeah. <laughs> yep, okay. So, anyway, look at this thing. Um, yeah, no, so 678 uh, pounds per month in tea and biscuits is actually a hell of a, of a lot of money like it's not I, it's not that expensive come on now so what do they spend on other stuff you know can you imagine no this is crazy this is really really crazy so uh, actually hackney council i'm not happy about that it doesn't matter if it's fair trade tea it's not the lacrosse tea so it doesn't justify such an expense okay no i'm sorry i disagree sorry guys all right guys so that's the end of actuality thank you so much for bearing with me all that time and listening to my crazy commentaries and all these crazy stories don't forget to subscribe to this channel till i close and to like the video if you liked it if you don't just come on you know you, have, you need to support a burgeoning channel come on <laughs> subscribe <laughs> um and yeah don't hesitate to follow us as well on instagram so it's still like close all together t H E S L A C Rose. That's it. All together. That's our Instagram, and that's the same for our Facebook. So I'm looking forward, guys, as I said earlier in the video, to sharing with you the video of our uh, pop up tea bar in Paris. I'm not forgetting about the Mary Poppins afternoon tea. So I will give you guys details when I go there and film everything for you. And yes, uh, we see each other very soon. Thank you so much for following again. Don't forget to follow us everywhere. And of course, check out our tea collections on our website, www.telacrose.com. Bye.